हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू अवर चैनल दिस इज पार्ट फोर ऑफ इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन एंड आंसर सीरीज ऑन आरटीएल डिजाइन पर्टिकुलरली इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस फ्यू मोस्ट कॉमनली आज इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चंस ऑन सिंथेसिस एंड सिमुलेशन ऑफ फ्यू वेरी लॉग एंड वीएचडीएल कोड्स नाउ विदाउट वेस्टिंग मच टाइम लेट अस गेट स्टार्टेड friend the first question is on your screen and you have to tell me does the following code will result different output in simulation and in synthesis so in this code there are four input variables a b c and d and one output variable o and the intention of this code is we will perform and operation on input a and b and in parallel we will perform and operation on input c and d and then we will perform or operation on the output of both the and operations and this is its code this is always block in the sensitivity list i have mentioned all the variables a b c or d and then temp is equal to c and d o is equal to a and b or with temp friends you can pause my video here take your time and let me know if simulation and synthesis will show same results otherwise i will let you know its answer let us try to see the synthesis results first when the synthesizer will come at this always block it will put an and gate on two inputs c and d and its output will be temp let me show you so this is c and d and at the output of this and gate we have a temp variable now when synthesizer will reach at the second statement now it will put and gate at both the inputs a and b so it is putting and gate and at the output of this and gate and this temp variable it need to put or gate and finally we will get output o so this is all about the synthesis now let us try to discuss behavioral simulation first so whenever there will be any event on any of the input a b c or d the simulator will come inside this always block and it will see this first statement temp is equal to c and d and it will calculate the value of temp as per the value of c and d and then it move to the next statement o is equal to a and b or with temp temp is already calculated so it will use its value and then it will give us the value of output o and which will be the correct value friends one thing very important i want to tell here the simulator is going to execute everything one by one it cannot do anything in parallel but in contrast of the simulation process in the real hardware things work in parallel even in the post synthesis results we will assume the results are coming in parallel for example output of both the and gates will come at the same time and then it will be fed to this or gate and finally we will get output o but here in the behavioral simulation simulator is calculating temp first and then it goes to the next statement and calculates a and b and then performs the or operation with this temp variable though we have executed all the steps in a sequential manner but we have organized our simulator in such a way that it will give us the same results as we get after post synthesis simulations now for the first question we will get the behavioral simulation results and post synthesis simulation results as same friends now coming to the second question which is the most important part of this video and you have to tell me does the following code will result different output in simulation and synthesis this is a module it has the same inputs a b c and d and same output o and the expected behavior from this module is same as we discussed earlier but the only change i made in this uh, code is i have changed the definition of this always block i have interchanged the position of both the statements where i was calculating temp and output o variable in the previous question the temp was coming in the first place and output o was coming at the second place but now 
I'm calculating output O at the first place and then I'm calculating the value of this temp variable. Friends, now you have to tell me whether I will get the same results in behavioral simulation and after post synthesis simulation. You can pause my video here, take your time and let me know whether you are able to solve this. Otherwise, I will let you know its answer. Okay, let us discuss the synthesis results first. So when the synthesizer will come at this always block and will try to synthesize it, it will come at this statement output O is equal to A and B or with temp. So obviously it will put AND gate at the inputs A and B and then it will replace this temp variable with C and D and we will get the same result. So you can say that ordering of the statements in this combination block does not matter for synthesizer. Friends, keep the note from here. I'm not talking about the sequential block. I'm saying that it is a combinational block and there the ordering of these statements does not matter for the synthesizer. Now let us try to see the impact of this reordering statements inside the always block on the simulation results. Friends, whenever there will be any event on any of the input A, B, C or D, the simulator will come inside this block and the simulator is going to execute both the statements in a sequential fashion. Firstly, it will try to calculate the value of output O. So firstly, it will take A and B or with temp. So in the beginning, we don't know what is the value of this temp variable. It is X. So the output variable O can be X in the beginning. Then it will come to the second statement, temp is equal to C and D. It will calculate and it will store in this temp variable. And then in the next cycle, whenever there will be any event on any of the input A, B, C or D, it will again come inside this always block. And then that newly calculated value will be used here. So it is going to yield all the illogical results. Results will be wrong. Results will not match with the synthesis results. Friends, now I'm going to conclude something very solid for all of you. The output of a synthesizer is not going to get impacted with the ordering of blocking statements inside this combination block. Synthesizer is going to implement the same logic for any ordering. And please keep a note, I'm talking about the combination block. I'm not talking about the sequential block. Ordering of blocking statements inside the sequential block is definitely going to impact the output of a synthesizer. We will see the impact of reordering inside the sequential block in the coming videos. And we also saw that the output of a simulator will be impacted. And we also know that in the very beginning, once the code or RTL is done, we perform behavioral simulations. Simulation is very important for all of us. We cannot ignore it. So for simulation to be correct, we should take care of this order. We should put those statements at the first place, output of which is going to be used in the other statements. So we should try to calculate those variables at the first place, which are going to be used in the other statements. Friends, with this, I'm going to wrap up this video and I hope that this would be quite informative for all of you. And in future, we are going to make many such videos. And those who have not subscribed my channel yet, please subscribe it. And to get the notification of all the videos as early as possible, don't forget to press the bell icon. Thank you so much for watching.